Happy Friday. The week just blew by. Oh my goodness. Anyhow, I'm here to do my stitch for the day for Earth Month Stitch Along. I hope that you're doing yours. Please keep sharing them. I love sharing them on my stories as well. And here's what I have for you today. So today, you'll be able to tell by the state my fingers are in, I've been painting edges of my artworks. And I opened up a brand new can. So this little thing came off of it. Um, if you might remember a couple of days ago, I was scraping the bottom of the previous can. Well, the new can arrived today and I peeled this off and this is all dry now. And I think I'm going to use exactly this for my stitch along today. Okay, so I am going to reverse camera and show you what I'm doing. All right, so here's my piece of plastic. It's almost completely clear, so it's a little hard to t see. Um, I think I'm going to use this little thingy just like this. I thought of using it on the other side, but the other side will be seen on the other side anyway. So I think I like to stitch it on just like that. Um, I am going to center it pretty evenly. Yeah, a little bit higher. Um, and then I'm going to pin it right here because that's where the pin will be least noticeable, right along that line. Um, a few years ago, my parents were visiting me and they asked how they could help because I was working while they were hanging out. So I had them uh, wind all these little bits of thread that I had lying around on these makeshift little cardboard thingies. So that's what they did with these threads and that's what I have to use today. I have um, threaded three needles. I've got brown, I've got blue, and I've got green. And the blue and the green, I have no idea what kind of thread it is. It's a little bit fuzzy, but it's not wool. That I'm pretty sure of. All right, so here I go. I think I'm going to start with the green on top. And I think that I'm going to just stitch right straight through. I'm going to take this line here and stitch right along that line. And I'm going to make it a little bit graphic. Let's see how graphic I could do. And like this. And like that. There we go. So now it's attached. I think I'm going to just take a little stitch right here and I'm going to take another line of stitches right along here. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been stitching pretty much just your basic running stitch all throughout so far. This is day seven and that's all I'm doing is running stitches. I think there were a couple of French knots in there at one point. So I am not really exercising any uh, learning how to stitch any particular stitch. I might get to that. Um, I am just sort of figuring out how to stitch on something weird and obscure onto a piece of plastic. That is all that I'm concentrating on right now. Um, so I'm going to do a narrow passage here, just like this. And it's not about a perfect line. It's about a little bit of a graphic element and stitching through a piece of plastic. So there's that. I think I'm going to end my green right here. And I'm going to tie it off on the back. This nearby loop, I'm going to go through here twice and I have a little loop and I'm going to tie off right here and that's that and now I'm going to I think I'll do brown so I have my brown pre-threaded and pre-knotted so I'm just going to come in here oh I actually realized I started with the very top so my knot from the green is at the top I think I will leave my knot 
for the brown also on the top, but on the opposite side. Um, let's see, so I'm just going to do a very straight line, or as straight as I can sort of do it. There we go. I think I'll take two small stitches right here. Come on, push through. There we go. It went through. Nope, that's a little too low. So I left a hole. Sometimes you can sort of fix that hole on the plastic with your fingernail, um, which I kind of did right now. It's not as noticeable now. But that hole is there to stay. That's when you stitch plastic, it's there to stay. And um, actually does not bother me one bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna do two lines of the brown in the, just this wonky running stitch. Sort of, so when you um, are coming up with your needle from the bottom, um, you can sort of see, if you slow down, I don't know if you can see it here, but it starts to make a little indentation, so you can kind of see where it's going to come up. So I, I would advise you to take your time making those stitches so you can kind of see what's coming up, um, and you can see where your stitch is coming up, because sometimes it's difficult to make that stitch exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so now I'm going to go for the blue. And here's my weird fuzzy blue. Um, and I'm just gonna make, see I like it because there's blue up here. So I'm just gonna make some, oh yes, I was gonna start from the top. So the knot is on the top and there's my knot. And I'm just going to sort of make a long, take some long stitches and make a long line There we go. And I'm just going to take another stitch through here. So I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to fill it in a little bit. And I'm not going to make them even. I'm just going to, each stitch will be a different length. And that's okay. It kind of adds to the immediacy of the project. And I like that works for me. All right, there we go. I think that I am pretty much done with today's. Quick and easy, doesn't have to be difficult, but I saved another little thing from the trash. Um, and I am thinking that I will add some stitching to all of these pieces eventually. Um, I haven't yet. And I will, when I do, I will share, I promise. So here it is. This is today's, this is day seven, Earth Month Stitch Along. And uh, very, very simple. And simple is what it's going to be because life is too busy with many things right now. All right, thanks for joining me. Stitch yours and uh, tag me so I know when, it's, when you post it. Thanks, bye.